Okay, so uh, we're at, um, in, in relation to a certain person on YouTube, we're at an undisclosed uh, dealership somewhere in North America. Actually, <laughs> we're in Europe, <laughs> I won't lie. This car's in really good shape, so we're definitely at... Uh, speaking of people who are, uh, who are on YouTube and, and, and make such videos, uh, we're, uh, we're taking a look at a 1978 BMW 320i. We have uh, Corey and Noel here checking it out, making sure. He's about to put a plastic piece onto a very hot exhaust. Uh, we want to point out that uh, the exhaust definitely has no leaks. It is in nice looking shape. I mean, it's, it's a little bit old, but uh, it's, it's decent. Um, there's a little bit of handprint on the bumper. Somebody's been cool. I don't know what's going on here. Very little rust. Very little rust. Oh, we have... Oh, you see... Oh, we have lights, so we can check out things. Look at this. Look at this. There we are. Looking beautiful. Looking gorgeous. Got a little bit of diff, diff leak, but not too bad. Oh, like, no rust in here. Look at this. Look at this clean, beautiful floor pan. Yeah. We got... Oh, we can see a little bit of oil leak there. Nothing too bad. We've got a little bit of surface rust there. Nothing too major. A little bit of surface rust over here. Nothing too bad. Surface rust, but there's really no holes. There's nothing. We're good here. It's looking pretty nice. Noel's a clever guy. He is a clever guy. You just helped me out with a good idea of how to get your... Uh, get it over there. Corey's taking a, t taking a while to say that he wants to take off the, uh, the Allen nut on yes. the transmission to check the transmission fluid. We're going to give that a good old check. M10 engines? Yeah. Tell me all about them. I don't know a whole lot about the M10 engine, to be honest. Oh, okay. I know it's the predecessor to the uh, M40, and that they're bulletproof reliable. Okay. It's a little bit before my time. <laughs> these, are, these are the things we know about uh, older BMWs at an undisclosed BMW de dealership. Yeah. Uh, so sure as it, much information could be found on the interwebs. On the internet. This, in, this video is going to be found on the internet. It will be. So we've got wonderful things going on here. Nice and clean down here. And looks good. Brakes. Yeah, they're okay. Not the greatest, but they're not bad. Yeah, they're going to last yeah. a while. They'll, they'll be good. They're good? We do have our only rust hole as Corey gets in our way. Oop. There's our <laughs> only guy. Yeah, now he's just a fender. Sadly, that's, that, it, that does exist. Uh, now we're looking at the back here. Looks all clean and nice. Brakes, brakes work decent on it. Pedal gets a little low, but it just needs a good bleed. It's from 1978, so uh, the fender is easy to replace. Yep, yeah. got a little bit of rust back here, as you can see. Um, not, not, nothing really in the in the arch here. Wheel well, nothing. Brakes look good. Moving out to the front, this fender is real nice. It's looking good. And again, this wheel well looks beautiful. And there we are. One thing I can tell you from the I like the, the bit of wood that's in front of the shifter there. It's pretty sweet. Yeah, and it matches the shifter. It's, totally. it's pretty great. I like the shifter. We've, so here we are. Uh, we've got Noel, Noel in the scene. He's hanging out. He's doing stuff. He's looking, he's looking smug and happy. 1977? 1978. 1978. Oh, yeah. We, we his, got the break off. It was, <laughs> his third, it was his third car when he came to Canada. Oh, your dad. Where is your, where is your father from? Uh, well, Richie from Ireland. He's now uh, living in Winnipeg, Manitoba. Oh, Winnipeg, Irish. Manitoba. I had two of these. I had um, 82 and 83. You've had two of these? I, uh, yeah, nice. Different injection system and all that, but mine um, were but what do you have So which motor is this one? It M didn't have a injection system. M10. So this is the M10 engine? Yes. This is the, and, block, uh, the block the Formula 1 engine is based on. The Formula 1? Is this the, is this the motor that they used to pee on to get... Uh, do, you, do we know that story? I don't. They, they took the blocks and they, they urinated on them because the ammonia uh, affected the, the, uh, the metal. Um, I don't know. I don't know the rest of the story, but that's that's that was. So these are, these are the turbo F1 motors that they use essentially. Well, the block. The yeah. block is shared. Um, yeah. How how many displacements is this? 19, 19, 1988, 1998 cc's. A whole two liters. The newer ones with the, the upgraded injector systems, they're only 1.8. Ah. This was just still two liter with this intake. The cubic engine is 121, but I don't know what that is in cc. Quick, get your Google converters. Oh, I'm working on it. So here we've got... Yeah, I'm going to clean this guy up. So here we've got the, the nearly new interior on it. Black. Beautiful. Even the rear seats. Even the rear seats are looking good. 
Do you have a seller or what? It is for sale. Would you like to purchase it? For a few hundred less, yeah. So let's take a little walkie around here. It does look like an automobile. An automobile that's a bajillion years old and still in great shape. It does look like a car. Still kind of shiny in most places. And, and you can still drive it. It operates. It's functional. It does things. It does stuff. Take pictures. <laughs> Well, we got a young Matthew McLaren here at uh, an oh, undisclosed hi. vehicle dealership. How are you? Yeah, this retired here. Retired. So we're just looking at some old Dickford BMWs it's here. Not best, bro. And we were just best. we were just coming to the conclusion that uh, there's some real pieces that, that roll through these shop once in a while. So we just wanted to send you our finest regards at this undisclosed vehicle dealership. Oh, cute, 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 Don't you know? Anyway, uh, that's all for this today's episode of this Dickard car. Dickard. Thanks for watching.